then I saw her face. I'm a believer, not a trace, doubt in my mind. Hi, welcome back to Guitar Discoveries. I'm Robert Cassard. Last week, I was gone. I wasn't doing Guitar Discoveries, and there's a darn good reason for it. I was very hard at work on the final touches and the release of Gilding Lilies. This is the new EP from my band, Cosmic Spin. This is a duo I have with Barra Waters. Very excited about this CD, or this EP, I should say, because it's six tracks. They're all songs you know, but they are truly reimaginings of those songs. So really excited. It's, it's, a, it's like all covers, but they sound like something completely new. We've done I'm a Believer, originally by the Monkees, written by Neil Diamond. We did the old Motown Nugget, Ooh Child, and we did a mashup with Landslide from Stevie Nicks. We did a re-recording of Golden Age, or The Golden Age, by Beck. One of my very favorite songs. We did a bluesier version of Say You Love Me. We updated... After the Gold Rush by Neil Young, which hadn't been really redone in a radical way for many, many years. And we even went back and dug into the archives for a Donovan tune, Where You Love Like Heaven. A lot of diversity in these songs, right? Well, a lot of people ask me how I build this stuff so that it sounds like we are a full-on band. I'm the only guitarist, I'm the only bass player uh, with Cosmic Spin. So how do we get this kind of sound that's so full and rich? Stick around, let's take a look. So I want to share these secrets with you about how to build guitar tracks. Now on the song I'm a Believer, actually on all of the songs from this EP, they all began with me playing one guitar. Now, the guitar that I used as my basic core rhythm guitar is this baby right here. This is a Heritage H575. You know, it looks like a jazz guitar, right? This is a hollow body maple guitar, a couple of uh, Schaller humbucking pickups. This has a really dense, full, and kind of thick sound. That's great because, you know, we're just a duo, right? And it's nice to have the rhythm guitar have some real uh, solidity to it. So. Take a listen to what this guitar sounds like run through a very small tweed amp. So you notice the primary rhythm is really quite driving. It's, it's pushing ahead on almost every beat. There's not a lot of space in that particular part. So I want to add now a second rhythm part, but I want to do it so that it kind of talks a little bit. So there's some interplay between the initial, the primary rhythm, and then the secondary rhythm. So for this, I chose a different guitar. It is my Les Paul copy from Jay Terser. So this beautiful, beautiful little gold top right here. This is a very inexpensive Les Paul copy. We're talking about a, about a $200, $250 guitar, right? But it really sounds fantastic. It's lighter than a Gibby or some, some of the, you know, full-on uh, expensive, well-made Les Pauls. Uh, this one I just chanced on, and when I started recording with it, I realized it was kind of magical. So uh, take a listen to what this does now in conjunction with the primary rhythm. I also happen to love how this guitar sounds for lead uh, because it has that really thick Les Paul tone. My concept when I was recording this was to, to do a solo that had none of that arena rock BS, right? None of this big ambience and all the rest. I wanted to be like fresh, trapped in the box, because that's kind of the theme of this song. Our version's dark, it's in E minor. We, we didn't do it in G like the monkeys did. We, we minored it up. And so I wanted the solo to have that sort of dense anguish. And it's also got some funky little almost Steely Dan kind of vibe right at the end of the solo. So 
that's the beauty of a Les Paul through a little tweed amp. Don't think you got to have big amps to have dense, wonderful tone. So then the question was, what else does this need in order to sort of bring it all home? Now, a technique that I really like to use when you've got electrics rolling in your first and maybe second verses, pick a time when you think it would be cool to bring in acoustic guitars. And when you do, I recommend playing two parts that are similar to each other, but not identical. Pan them hard right and left or close to hard right and left, and you're going to get this really nice thickening effect. A lot of your listeners won't even be thinking about the fact that you brought in an acoustic guitar, but in fact, that acoustic completely changes the vibe. It brings back some of the organic quality. So take a listen to how these uh, two guitars, panned hard right and left, fit in the mix. Here's the funny part. I actually, I happen to be doing a demo of my son's Espana guitar, which is a funky old guitar made in Finland from the 1960s. And I thought, I'm just going to use that because it has this really wonderful upper mid rangey kind of tone that I thought would be a nice complement to the density of these electrics, you know, which are both humbuckers, right? The, the electrics are all humbuckers, nice and dark. So take a listen to how the uh, acoustics sound, especially the bright upper mid ranginess of these Espanas. You're getting to hear the underlying tracks, you know, the, the drums, bass, guitars, without any of the vocals. You know, here's the thing, the vocals always end up being the star of the show. But for you on Guitar Discoveries, I really want to focus in on what it is that you can do as a one-man band, or maybe with you and a friend, to build guitar tracks that really sound like an integrated band that really knows what you're doing. So, quick recap. Strong rhythm, uh, one that drives through most of the track, was sort of my basis. I added this sort of counterpoint rhythm with its a little softer, a little mellower. Um, I then added the guitar solo with a nice dense tone, no reverb, no nothing. And then I added the two acoustics, kind of spread wider in order to give it that organic woodiness toward the end of the thing and just basically have four guitars playing, which is a really nice vibe. Uh, so there you go. That's your guitar discovery for the day. Cosmic Spin Gilding Lilies. Please go over and check it out. I'm going to have a link to it in this video. I hope you go check it out. I'm going to do more guitar discoveries and talk a little more about some of the other tracks and how I built those uh, because I really want to let you in on some of these secrets. You in your own home recordings can sound awesome. There is no reason these days with the amazing uh, DAWs, with the plugins that are available, you don't even need to have a variety of amps. They're all built into your computer if you want to use them. So you really can get an incredible sound. I'm getting raves from fans and people who've never heard of us uh, about how this EP sounds. And I think a big testament to that is layered guitars. Big fan of that. All right. Um, please go check out the EP. I'm not even going to give you any other links. I'm not even going to tell you to subscribe this week. I just want you to go check this out. You can click the link. You can hear some samples. You can stream from your favorite service. Uh, you can download it if you want, whatever you want to do. But I really hope you'll check it out, and I really appreciate it. See you next week on Guitar Discoveries.